Another enhancement in the area of drainage and utilities is the ability to implement cover depths for nodes. In previous versions, you could only do this for conduits, but now you can set min and max cover depths for nodes and the conduits will honor these when you compute a design scenario. This also replicates some legacy geopack drainage functionality. So let's take a look once again at how this works. When you place a conduit, by default, the depth of cover used comes from the default design constraints, so that value there. But what happens in a situation where you've got nodes that perhaps use different construction materials? Let's say this node is brick and this one is precast concrete segments. Now they might have different minimum cover constraints. So what we can do now is we can go to the drainage properties and we've added these new fields. So for this node on the left, I'll say that the minimum covers three feet and the maximum covers six feet. And for this node on the right, I'll say that the minimum covers perhaps four feet and the maximum is six feet. So when I compute the scenario now, we can see that the conduit has been designed so that it honors both the minimum cover at the start node and the minimum cover at the stop node. The node cover constraints are available in the design alternative. So you can vary the cover constraints per scenario.